In case you missed it and you probably didn't, the next pair of mainline Pokemon games have been announced, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. The games were revealed during a Pokemon Presents to celebrate the 26th anniversary of the franchise. There was a short trailer and a quick look at the new trio of starter Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. And just like what happens every time, lines were drawn on the sand and blood was spilt over which one is the best. Right now it looks like the quote, capricious attention seeking grass cat Pokemon, unquote, Sprigatito is the winner. I myself am a little more partial to Fue Coco, who is described as the laid back fire croc Pokemon that does things at his own pace. And who wouldn't want to be a laid back fire Pokemon that just does things at their own pace? Also, he looks like an apple cut in half, or probably more aptly a chili pepper. Lastly, of course, there's Quaxley, which is a duck wearing a hat. Or is it? Pokemon keeping that tradition alive of forcing people to ask like, is that a part of their body? Or Anyways, just based on the trailer that was shown, a number of Pokemon detectives have already speculated that the region looks largely influenced by the Iberian Peninsula, which is basically Spain and Portugal. This is due to the shape of the map that we got a quick glance of, as well as the areas and architecture kind of shown off. We also got a look at some Pokemon trainer concept art that came later in an official blog post. What's surprising is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are slated to come out by the end of the year. That's right, 2022. Game Freak, who released Pokemon Sword and Shield in 2019, has had two development teams for a while, which makes the feat logically possible, but usually game publishers really like to space out those bigger releases. We just got Pokemon Legends Arceus last month. So some fans feel like it might be time for Game Freak to take a slightly longer break so they can try even more new things or figure out a number of the other issues players have had with the more recent games. For example, Pokemon Sword and Shield was really taken to task for its appearance, its technical limitations, and hiccups, and of course, the lack of a national Pokedex. But despite all those complaints and a lot of vocal backlash, Pokemon Sword and Shield has gone on to sell over 22 million copies. Pokemon Legends Arceus, which again launched just last month, also received criticisms for its lackluster appearance and technical issues, but in its first week alone, it sold 6.5 million copies, which makes it the fastest selling Pokemon game released on Switch to date. Now, we technically don't know very much about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, but it's safe to assume the pair will build on the format and style established by Pokemon Sword and Shield. So the new games probably aren't going to look very much different. They're probably not even going to perform much better. And like Sword and Shield, it's very unlikely that Scarlet and Violet will have a complete national dex. So on one hand, a vocal subset of Pokemon fans are about ready to get upset all over again. But on the other, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are certain to make boatloads of money. Thanks for watching everyone. Sorry for the late post today. Let us know in the comments how you're feeling about Pokemon these days and definitely let us know who you're going to pick for your starter or just even if you're not going to play Pokemon, just pick which one you think is the best and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.